In this video, we're going to take a look at solving the system of equations 3x plus 6y equals negative 9 and 2x plus 9y equals negative 26 by using the addition by elimin... the elimination by addition method. The problem with this system is we can't quickly combine the x's or y's to subtract one of them out to 0. Also, you will notice we can't multiply the second equation by something to get negative 3, so that the x's would subtract out. And we can't multiply the first equation by something to get negative 9, so that the y's would subtract out. If we can't multiply one equation by something to get opposites, what we will do is multiply both equations by something to get opposites. In this problem, let's get the opposites in front of the y's. We could choose either one we'd like, but let's focus on the y's for this problem. In front of the y's, we currently have 6 and 9. To find out what number we want to have in front of the y's, we look for the least common multiple of 6 and 9. The least common multiple of 6 and 9 is 18. 18 is the smallest number that we can divide by both 6 and 9. This means we want positive 18y in one equation and negative 18y in the other equation. Let's make the first equation have the positive 18y, which we can get by multiplying by 3 on both sides. The second equation, to get negative 18, we need to multiply the 9y by negative 2 on both sides. As we distribute, the first equation becomes 9x plus 18y equals negative 27. Distributing in the second equation gives us negative 4x minus 18y equals positive 52. We are now ready to combine these equations together because we have opposites in front of the y's. 18y and negative 18y is 0, and we're left with 5x equals negative 27 plus 52 is 25. Finally, to get the x alone, we'll divide both sides by 5, telling us that x is equal to 5. We still need to find the y value, and so we will go back to one of the original equations and replace the x with 5, and then solve for the y. We can use either equation. I always like to use the one with smaller numbers. This would be the first equation. We'll replace that x with 5 and find out what y is. That first equation is 3x, or 3 times 5, plus 6y equals negative 9. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 6y equals negative 9. Subtracting 15 from both sides gives us 6y equals negative 24, and dividing by 6 tells us that y is equal to negative 4. We now have our values for x and y. The solution to this system is 5, comma, negative 4. This is the point where the two lines will intersect if we were to graph them. It means that when x is 5 and y is negative 4, both of these equations will be true equations. We found that solution by first deciding to eliminate the y's, we could have just as easily eliminated the x's, and identified the least common multiple, and multiplied our equations such that we would have positive and ne negative 18, so that least common multiple would subtract out to 0.